tired of sliding on defense, man. You're trying to find out that L1R1, LBRB. You're trying to find that outlet pass setting. I do still got The only difference is you ain't got to press three buttons. You know, you only got to press one button to make that outlet pass. We're going to go ahead and get right into it, man. Make sure you, um, for me, I turn off the vibration. I don't play with no vibration. I do got a jump shot I will put up at the top right now in the car, but I also will have it at the end if you want to stay at this whole video and just wait to the end, Um, you know, click it. But I got a jump shot that is butter. You can use it from a player that's 6'5 through 6'9. Nine, same jump shot, same base and everything where you ain't got to use your center and change your base up. But I got um, no shot meter, no jump meter, no layup, no uh, no nothing. Of course, you can use the layup meter. I done got used to when I use my Pro Touch, I still can green it without the layup meter. I prefer that way. I want the boost for all of them. If I can get a boost and I don't need no badges or no attributes, I'm going to take it, man. So we're going to turn off all the meters. We're going to go all the way down, man, to the pass type. Listen, the pass type start off on default, right? Of course, you want to go absolute too, just in case you want to use, you don't want to use uh, camera relative. You want to use absolute for your uh pro stick um function we use default right here you want to go to the absolute when you're using your defense too man listen pass type control when it comes to the icons we want to use pass type control the game starts off on default when you're using default man you can flashy pass a lot of stuff so if i pull up my icon modifier you know l1 i mean r1 or uh, rb when i pull up that icons it's gonna automatically give me a flashy pass if i double tap whatever button you know what i'm saying if i don't pull up my icons and i double tap it's gonna automatically give me a flashy pass and when you put it on pass type, you can control what pass you want to pass to the person. So if I pull out my icons and if I'm on Xbox, I want to pass it to B. All I got to do is double tap B, you know what I'm saying, for a bounce pass. Hold B if I want to throw like a little lob pass. Not throw a lob, but throw a lob pass, you know what I'm saying, or just press B and I'll throw a regular pass. When it comes to if you want to do a flashy pass, because you still can do flashy pass, but you will use your right analog you know what I'm saying, and move it towards the direction. So if I want to do a flashy pass to somebody in the left corner, all I got to do is use my right analog, you know what I'm saying, to throw it to them in the left corner. When it comes to getting the outlet passes, like I said, remember you can, you know, last year in 2K23, um, you used to compress L1, R1, LB, RB, and then you press A or X, and he automatically throw the pass to the, the closest person to the court. Well, this year they changed it, so you can't do that no more. But what you can do is when you change the pass type control, you can just hold A if you're on Xbox and X if you're on PlayStation. Once you hold it after you get the rebound, he can automatically throw it, you know, to the furthest person on the court. And that's when you use pass type control. And you use default, they don't do that. But listen, when you're doing that, you can also use right analog, you know what I'm saying, to move to the direction that you want to pass to. So if you got two people on the fly, you don't want say you got three people on the fly, one in the middle lane, one on the uh, two on the outside, left and right. If you want to throw it to the left one, because the other two getting defended in the way, all you got to do is press your analog to the left, your left analog, my bad, your left analog to the left while holding the A, and he going to throw in the pass to that specific corner, even on the outlet pass. When it comes to defense, man, like I said, the pro stick defense, you want to put on absolute. When it comes to defense, man, like I said, last season, I tried all the defense settings. I put it on 25. Well, I tried all of them. I put it on 25, 50, and 100. Every time, you know what I'm saying, I would slide. When I put it on zero, I play all last season on zero, and I play half the other season on z uh, half a season, uh, five on zero. This was the best one. I got around a lot of um, screens much better. I was able to stay with my defender better, especially in the record. I won't lagging as much or sliding as much, you know, when I when it came to defending. So make sure you put this on zero. At least try it out on zero. I'm telling you, you ain't going to go back. Um, Defensive box out. It's, th it's that default 50. You know what I'm saying? It start off 50 at default. Put it on 100. You want as many box out animations as you can get. You can never have too many box out animations. Animations, you know what I'm saying? You can put the assist on when you're in the perimeter and stuff like that. You can have too many animations where you know where a person going because they've been predictable all game. The, the game is going to try to make you go the other way, you know what I'm saying? Because it's trying to calculate where he's going to go even though you already know he's going to go. So you might well just take this assist off, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it was the best. But when it comes to the defensive assist, you're going to always get the best animations when it comes to box outs and being in the right position, you know what I'm saying, to get as many box outs as you can so you can throw them outlet passes, you know what I'm saying? Use that pass type control. When it came to openness man you start off on default i just switched to openness i didn't change too much when it came to this i just left it at this you know what i'm saying because i use I, I usually do icon passing especially when i use pass type so the pass you know become much easier because i can control what pass i want to control but i definitely change the openness you know what i'm saying and try to pass to the open the most open player sometimes even if you put it on 100 it'll do it sometimes but it's still mess up man so i just kept it the same but like i said man thank y'all so much for love we will be streaming on this channel right here we was gonna do twitch man but i'm gonna go ahead and stay on this youtube man i'm gonna stay over here so make sure you hit the sub make sure you 
turn on um, turn on the notifications like this video i got a video i'm gonna put at the end man the build i'm gonna be using is crazy man listen it's a problem you trying so you playing solo wreck you tired of solo wreck man listen you try to lose it you trying to get them dubs you got to build. you want to build that can rim run and shoot lights out and handle the ball and play a little defense too man i got the build for you right here make sure you go right now to go check it out it's up here right now click on that and i'll see you next time peace